Welcome to Genoa, a bustling port on Italy's northwest coast. Behind me is the very first yacht to come from Takoa. They have called themselves, with pride and justification, the Workshop of Dreams. Tancoa was created by the former owners of Baglietto. The day they sold Baglietto, they had in mind to go to bigger dimensions and prove the world, basically, that you can do the best boats in Italy. They are experience, flexibility, incredible subcontractors' resources. We, we have an environment here, especially in Genova, where they built cruise ship 250 mil long. Why couldn't we build the best quality yachts? So the idea basically when they started was to start with dimensions that would put us in competition primarily with Germans and Dutch shipyard. Not really with Italy, it happens, but usually it's a battle on the price and we don't wish to enter that battle because we come with specifications, we come with 20 millimeter thick teak suit burners with a lot of standard equipment that are part of our price while anywhere else it would be uh, uh, an additional that the owner would have to, to, to pay. I'm with Orsi, I'm president of Tankoa Yachts. Here behind me there's a um, motor yacht Suerte. It's uh, Tankoa's first uh, model uh, that we launched uh, the 1st of July. It's a 70 meter yacht and will be presented in Monte Carlo in Monaco Yacht Show 2015. Here we're in one of the two 90 meter sheds that were built late 2007-2008. Since day one, the entire idea at Tankoa was to build 70 to 90 meter boats. So the infrastructure was built on purpose to that effect. So it is a very efficient flow for the workers to work. Now, unfortunately, the shed is empty because the, the 69 meter got out uh, three weeks ago. But on the back of the shed, we have 20 tons elevator. So when we get delivery from the suppliers to the back of the shed, we have this elevator, it goes straight into the boat. We don't need to use crane or anything else. It's temperature control, hygrometry controlled. Uh, they can paint in the middle of the summer, they can paint in the middle of the winter. We keep the same, same temperature, same level of humidity. We're lucky enough to build a shipyard from scratch to build that size yacht. This is not adapted to build 120 meter, but we have different plans for that. We were being involved in three phases during the, uh, this project. The first phase was the offices. Then the second phase were the two uh, sheds that you have seen where the, our first model has been constructed and there is our sister ship which is now being completed and our phase C is the 250 meters dock which we already have approval to construct as well two distinctive 40 to 50 meters uh, yachts. Here we're standing in front of the uh, of our barge which is basically a 4,000 ton elevator. It allows us to launch or retrieve up to 110 meter yacht in and out of the water. We had the, the basin dredged down to 18 meter. So we can basically work on any size boat. We have a lot of shipyards that come here to do warranty work, which is also a very good thing because it gives us a good eye on what the competition does. This is a unique tool in the region and it's again 4,000 tons allows us to think about 100, 110 meter yachts for the future with eventually the acquisition of uh, a bigger land next door to us. It's an yeah. interesting name. Where, where did Tankoa come Tanko from? Tankoa comes from the Genoese territory because in dialect means scorpion. And as you see, the logo is uh, the tail of the scorpion or the hull of a vessel, of a yacht. So here you have the 65 meter, which was the genesis of the Tankoa project. That was initially the first two boats that were designed and built at Tankoa. Uh, when the crisis happened, these two projects were stopped. And that's when my company came in the picture. Usually shipyards are busy seven days a week building boats. They're not at sea and they're not with the clients in Ibiza, in Porto Cervo, in Cannes, in Monaco, in Saint-Tropez. 
That's what we do all year round. And our team is used to be on the boat with the client. So we exactly know what they expect from their boat. So basically here you have the two models, the 65 meter that was turned into 69 meter. That's the boat that will be presented at the Monaco Yo Show. You will see that if you look at the fore part of the boat, the design did not change. What really changed is the extension of the, of the stern that was taken from 65 to 69 mil longer. This additional section was made entirely in stainless steel for durability, for maintenance reasons, for warranty uh, issues. It's an investment on our side. And you will see that the amenities are a lot better here. You can entertain your guests. You now have a three meter wide platform. You have a beach club with direct access to the sea with a glass wall. We, we bring what client expect. And then if you go back there, we have the 80 meter, which is the future. This is also a Francesco Paskowski design, but the, the, the particularity of that project is that we're working with a titanium company to try to create the entire uh, skeleton of the superstructure in titan titanium so all the aluminum frame would not be structural the structure will be a cage in titanium and we've been engineering that project for now more than a year and a half and I think we'll be capable of offering it to clients by the end of the year we sincerely believe that bringing processes like titanium frames and cages would bring a lot, notably in terms of volume inside, because we would not have that many beams than with aluminum. Our models that we have presented last year and will present this year have been positively received by the market. This for us, it's really important because we show a standard Tankoa and people can, can see and touch something real and not anymore only on paper works so for us definitely is a change as well uh, as a a big weapon to show commercially